method of business would persist until the formation of the National Wrestling Alliance in 1948. NWA as a central governing body, with its singular, undisputed world champion, would be absolute, and undeniable. This control, combined with the expansion of the interstate highway system, and the inevitable popularity and availability of regional television, would usher in an era of wrestling that was defined by what would come to be known as the territory system. The territory system would dominate wrestling for nearly four decades while the borders, authority, popularity, and obedience of individual NWA territories was in a near constant state of flux, to this day the impact and influence of these territories is still felt. Each territory had its own signature promoter and star. While it is impossible to cram these characteristics into a static, concrete map, we are damn sure going to try anyway. So open up your eyes. Welcome to another edition of This Week in Pro Wrestling with your host, I'm Mike Monty. That's Jimmy Farrow. We thank you guys for joining us on this Friday night right before you sit back and you enjoy the wonderful views of Friday Night Smackdown, Friday Night Rampage, as you get prepared for another great week of pro wrestling. Uh, but on a serious note, Farrow, the world of wrestling was brought to its knees and everything froze. Oh. Pro Wrestler 38 dies in head-on car crash while taking daughters to cheerleading practice. Jay Briscoe was one half of the Briscoe brothers. Jay Briscoe, a Ring of Honor wrestler, died in a head-on car accident on La in Laurel, Delaware on January 17th that killed one other poor person according to the Delaware State Police. He was 38, just a week short of his 39th birthday. Briscoe, who was not wearing a seatbelt, was driving a 2016 Chevy Silverado 2500 eastbound when the driver of a 2019 Chevy Silverado crossed the center line into Briscoe's lane uh, where they crashed. The driver of the Silverado, identified as 27-year-old Lillian Terahan, was wearing a seatbelt, but she also died. Both she and Briscoe were pronounced dead at the scene. Thoughts, Jimmy Farrow. I love Jay Briscoe. Um, he was, uh, he was, I know it's uh, independent. I know it's not the big company, but we just lost, and it's only my opinion, we lost one of the great, great badasses who spoke with conviction, his eyes used to pop out of his head. He was just a tremendous attitude era kind of promo guy. Obviously, he didn't keep it clean, uh, you know, with the words he used and stuff. But, man, oh, man, was this guy just badass. To me, he came across like southern southern perfection. His, his, his gimmick with his brother was amazing. They are to the indies what the Usos are to... The WWE, I mean, you know, if, if anyone came to me and said, okay, the greatest teams of the last bunch of years, you know, you want to mention the Usos, but of course you'd have people mentioning FTR and they wouldn't be wrong, I would agree. And, uh, you know, the Briscoes, I've always talked to you about the Briscoes. I've always wished that the Briscoes could have somehow been in WWE, but I agree with what you always said. It's the profanity. 
that wouldn't get them in. Jay was only 38. Um, I know they say he wasn't wearing a seatbelt, and he, of course he should have been wearing a seatbelt, but as I told you, when someone you know hits you head on coming from the other lane, you're being propelled backwards and smashed simultaneously. That seatbelt is just to help you in case you're going forwards. I know it doesn't mean anything, and he should have had his seatbelt on, but, but for them to mention that to me is like, okay, fine, but he's the impact. The man was chosen to die, and you it's know, horrible. It, it's, it's absolutely it's horrible. that you brought that up. It's like, what are the odds you're driving on that curve, and at that moment she crosses? It's See, just yeah. like, what the? I, I, it's the luck of the, of the bad, very bad, sad draw. Uh, uh, again, Jay Briscoe was one of my favorites, man. I, we didn't normally talk because we don't normally cover a lot of the, mm -hmm. the smaller scenes and stuff. But I, uh, in my heart, I always felt that if they had been given a chance to, to do something with WWE, they would have established themselves. They were uh, 13 times the Ring of Honor champions. And yes, once upon a time, Ring of Honor did really do, mean something to the wrestling community, really meant something to the wrestling community. Uh, he is a uh, all-time tag team great, and rest in peace, Jay Briscoe. I'm in pain. I, I don't like. I it. can tell you that Farrell was a fan of uh, Jay Briscoe, uh, the Briscoe brothers. Um, again, not that I wasn't a fan. I just yeah. really wasn't interested. It's right. not my type of thing. Right, and it wasn't on the platform you normally watch. Yeah. Your Yankees, my right. Yankees, the right. WWE. It makes sense. But again, you know. the, this guy. <sighs> wow made a difference but let me ask you this Farrow thoughts on this guy okay some guy by the name of Paul Paul D Ciccio guess he felt it was a good time to post this on Twitter he took it down now okay because I guess he's getting some heat but it um this is what he posted rest in power is trending because a white homophobic wrestler died in a car crash so I think it's a great time to remind everybody that the phrase is reserved exclusively for people who died due to them fighting systematic oppression. This guy's got over a couple million, million views on his tweet. What do you think of that, Farrell? I think he's uh, cordially invited to go fuck himself. You like dancing on the dead asshole? Thanks for the message. What? But unfortunately, your timing makes me think of a more important message that I've got for you. What makes people think that... Can I put the finger down now? You can do whatever you want. Because it feels Cause comfortable it's, it's, this way. It's, 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 the guy... It kind of does. You might have a feeling about somebody, dislike or whatever else. Sure. But to put up that oh. at that time is nothing but looking for attention. You yeah. have lost your message if you truly believed in what you were writing. Of course. You lost it you because you... of your timing. Right. Okay? And and because of the fact that you come across as a cold asshole. Right. Absolutely. And no one wants to hear a preacher who's a prick. And how about everybody <laughs> in the world who's made a mistake? If everybody didn't forget your mistake, yeah. no one would get along. Right. I mean, look... I don't really know. Like, I saw what he had said a while back, and that actually hurt their career, right? right. They were kind of blackballed, you know, and professionally, it was probably a mistake. Right. He made a mistake. Yeah. But the man just died. With his he, with, family with in the car. Family that. In the car. It's like, guy. In the car. Have some common sense. Why does everybody feel like they've got to get tweeted and everything? I just stop it. Because we've allowed an electronic device to give us all, well, not all of us, thank God, a very uh, false sense of power, a very shallow <laughs> false Ashley, sense of power. Ashley Pugh, the wife of Jay Briscoe, shared an update on her personal Facebook page and asked for prayers for her children. <sighs> we need prayers. Gracie is on her way to surgery on her back. Jameen would want a whole world praying for his little girl. Poe said, Pew said, I hope I'm saying it right. We believe in the power of prayer. Prayer for the doctors and everyone working on her. Pray for her precious legs to move again. Pray for Jay Lee, who had some pretty serious injuries, but is stable and resting. Pray for Gannon waiting at home. 
pray for strength for all of us. We have a long, long road ahead. 38. Yeah. I got nothing else, man, other than hurt pretty much right now. What becomes, Ooh. and this really doesn't matter, but I'm, I have to ask it. Okay. What becomes of the Briscoe legacy? Oh, the Briscoe legacy was safe. Uh, they had cemented their legacy probably a good 10 years ago, uh, coming from, and I'm speaking from the wrestling purist portion of my uh, wrestling soul. Um, they were already safe 10 years ago, and oddly enough, when I was... Uh, Turning uh, the Bartman from Wisteria Hall onto wrestling, one of the first things I showed him was a Briscoe's match where it was Jay versus Adam Cole before Adam Cole had arrived here. And uh, it was in a no holds barred, uh, unbelievable contest. And Bart, Bart freaking started to love wrestling. You know, I started, of course, you show him the rock in Austin, it's all over. Right, you know what I mean? Right, right. But these were some of the things that we were, uh, you know, that was going on at the time. NXT was building, selling out the Barclays when when he got into it. They're safe. Their legacy is safe. If if anything, sadly enough, you know what happens, how uh, Raven's claws for shoulders turn to angels' wings after a tragedy. Uh, I mean, he was a tough, tough man. Um, I think the legacy will probably be even bigger because of the sad tragedy. You know how people, you know how this works, you know, when, when someone's cut short. Kurt Cobain turned into the Jim Morrison of his time mm. or the Jimi Hendrix, you know, when you're cut mm. short. Um, so I think their legacy is very safe, you know. They will be considered one of the, the great, great tag teams of their generation. But, you know... You know the, the the bottom line, how we really ultimately, it's a shame he didn't get to, to play in the Super Bowl. Farrow and I 